guys. I'm sure you watch my other video where I made espresso using seven grams of beans. And then I posted another video two days ago about an extraction using 14 grams of beans in a double cup basket. Now I was thinking about it uh, the next day and the flow of the espresso was a bit quick and I got like 49 grams output. That That's a lot of uh, espresso for a double shot. And my grind size was at three. And I mentioned that I didn't want to go below. Uh, there are a few reasons. Uh, the, the main reason is the bursts are very close to each other. So anything below three, it may almost touch each other. And when you grind beans, uh, it will be barely touching each, each other and it's not good for a longer run. But for just uh, one single extraction, it's fine. Uh, there is nothing wrong. Uh, what I meant is don't leave it at one permanently for everyday use. So today I'm going to see if I'm able to fix. There are two solutions that I thought about it. Uh, the first solution is I'm going to change it back to one. That's the final setting. Uh, for FYI, my internal burst setting is at four. So in case you're wondering, the default is at six, but I put it at four and I've been having it at four for a while now uh, because my grinders are getting worn out a bit. It's been uh, many years that I've been using the same grinder and the machine, so it's possible. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to change it at one and see whether I can restrict the flow of the espresso and make that output the yield to be lesser and mainly look at if there is any big taste difference and that's what really matters uh, the count the numbers are all you can keep it aside the taste really matters so that's what i'm going to check today the second solution that i thought about is um, I remember I explained about the limitation of the Breville basket where I was unable to tamp below this level so I got a solution for that instead of Breville basket I'm going to use the 21 gram basket why I mentioned is uh, let me show you a close-up so that you can see clearly on my last video, I explained about the restriction. This is the Breville basket, and this is the 21 gram basket, which came with the bottomless bottle filter. Now, if you look at the shape of these two, this is more cylindrical, straight down. And this end is bigger. It's almost same as uh, this end. It's almost same, there's a little curve here towards the end but otherwise it's the same size. Now, if you look here, uh, you'll see the curve more obvious. Somewhere here, it's gonna hit. The, the timbre won't go below this. It's gonna hit here. Uh, but in this case, it's more straight line and it should work. So uh, let, let me get the Breville timbre. So here it is. So this is the Breville basket. Now, as you see, it's it's hitting. There's some restriction. You cannot go beyond this. Somewhere here. Now, if you look at this basket, it goes all the way down, and it's hitting the bottom. So, using this basket, you will be able to tamp all the way down, or the size that you need, or whatever pressure. Let's say 15 pound of pressure whatever you apply, you will be able to do in this basket, but not on the Breville. It's gonna hit halfway through. So we are going to make an espresso using 14 grams of beans, but in this 21 gram basket. So first thing first, I'm going to use the Breville basket and let's see the extraction first, and then we'll use the other basket and see whether uh, the ex there is any difference in the extraction and the taste mainly 
So let's begin using the brawl. I might have just enough for two extractions, so I have to be perfect this time. So let's use this beans. This is the same beans that I roasted the previous day. Maybe it's four or five days old now. The Indian cappy. So let's take 14 grams. Okay. 14.03 so here's my grind size where I made the espresso last day so from 3 I'm going all the way down to 1 that's the finest setting so we'll leave it at 1 So 14 grams in and grind size at 1. So like I said, I'm leaving the 21 for now. Let's use the Breville basket. The grains are more finer, so there's a lot of clumps which we'll have to break it. If you have a WDT tool, please make use of it. Okay, that should be good for now. Now, obviously, this may not work, neither the other side. So obviously I'm going to use the brawl temper. Make sure you apply the right amount of pressure and evenly. I see a lot of grinds here. I don't want to lose any grinds because we have a limit of just 14 grams so I don't want to, to be lesser than that I'll just polish it okay okay you could hardly see the line there but it's just below that little cut that's all the timbre will go Okay, I'm trying to polish it, but yes, it is visible now, that ring, something like a ring around. Okay, looks good. So, let's see how the extraction is gonna be. Let me bring my scale. Make sure you lock it fully and let's begin okay I got my timer ready here and let's begin double shot I'll start the timer at the first drop great The pressure is at one o'clock range. Okay, 30 seconds, a lot of crema, and the weight is 47. 
Okay, so from 49, there's a difference of two grams. So we got 47 out. The shot looks good. Previously it was 49 and there's a difference of two, two grams. Uh, let's see. Okay, 1.68 ounce. That's the output. Okay. Now let's look at the shot. A lot of crema generated, similar to last time. And I'm gonna taste now. Okay, so we saw the numbers. More than that, let's look at the taste. Nice rich crema. If you ask me to compare to the previous shot, I would say I prefer the previous shot. Even though the flow looks good, the, the extraction looks okay, the, the, the yield 1.6 ounce, uh, that is 47, 47 grams out from 14 grams. Uh, that's a lot, almost one is to three. It has reduced a bit compared to the previous shot, but I could taste, I would say it's, it's a bit more bitter. It is. For some reason, this is bitter for me. The previous shot was super taste wise. I could taste that smoky, earthy, the tobacco, spicy flavor everything was coming out i thought it will be better in this but it's not yeah i prefer the previous one anyway i'll keep it aside let's do the second test that is using the other basket where i'll be able to tam more so restricting the flow it did not improve the taste so i'm not expecting any magic but let's see uh, for the sake of testing let's see whether the tamping will make any difference uh, and i'm gonna go from one back to three because that's where the taste matter if it's too fine uh, you could get bitter coffee that's science that's the science behind it as well so i'm gonna change it back to three and we'll use this basket 21 gram where I'll be able to tam all the way down as much as possible. So I'll apply a bit more pressure than usual. And let's see how the, that extraction is. I'm looking forward for that. Let's do it right now. So first thing first, I'm going to change back to three where it was before. So I should have just enough to make another cup, 14 grams. Okay, 14 grams. Okay, so let's use this. So 14 grams and let's use this. Let's quickly check the puck. Okay, I see some holes here, which are signs of channeling. Um, but the there is obviously water floating up there. That's why it is a bit wavy, which is normal. Okay. So here I just cleaned up the basket and the potter filter. Obviously, we are not using this. Let's keep it aside and let's take the 21 gram straight basket.
Perfect. So another 14 grams and my grain size is back to three. This is 21 grams basket, so the grinds looks too little. But that's fine, we're going to tamp it down anyway. I think the distribution looks good. So obviously, no use. Maybe it's barely touching. So let's use the Bravo Tambor. Good. Looks too little though. There's a lot of gap for the water to float <laughs> on top of this. Anyway, let's use this. Let's use my second shot glass, tear it. And 14 grams at grind size three. That one locked so easy because there's not enough grinds. Okay, all ready to go. I got my timer ready here and let's begin the double shot. Look at the weight, it's 48 grams now, and my cup is almost overflowing like last time. Shot looks good. There were a lot of uh, spurts which messed up my scale, everything. I'll clean it up and let's have a taste. There is some slight difference, very light. Um, but like I said, the taste matters, so I'm excited to taste this. A lot of crema like last time. Uh, let's see. This is much smoother. So, <laughs> so changing the grind size, even though it saved one or two grams less, the flow of the espresso was more better to watch it, it wasn't faster it was slow but that made it bitter that is grind size one now I went back to grind size three exactly like the the espresso that I made two days ago the only difference is I used the other basket and I tamped a bit more harder than last day that's the only difference I did but since it is at grind size three it tastes very good. Big difference from the other extraction. The other one was, uh, now I can see a big difference in the bitterness. But this is so easy to drink. You could taste all the flavors of the beans, uh, which is what you want. Now, you don't have to worry about the numbers, like I said. 
Now it gave like 47 grams out. Now most of the people who do extraction, they do it manually. They just press and then when they get the desired measurement, that is one is two. Uh, that is in this case, it will be 28 grams. When it reaches 28 grams on the scale, you press the button again to stop the extraction. So you get one is two, two ratio. But for today's video, I was showing you what the default setting of the Breville is. And that's why I left it running to show you the whole extraction. Usually people cut the last part of the quick flow where the espresso uh, looks so thin and so runny. Uh, I'm showing you everything because that's a default program where the machine regulates the time and the extraction. So uh, all you do is just change the grind size. That's all you do. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do, please hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it. That's how I can grow. And you'll see more videos related to coffee, uh, roasting and other stuff. So stay tuned guys. See you next time. Bye for now.